Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. Recently we have made a video on wheeled armor fighting vehicles built on 8x8 Tata web platform with anti-tank guided missile. It was showcased for the first time during the dress rehearsal of Republic Day Parade on 23rd January and many of you had a question as why the wheeled armor fighting vehicle was shown on a transporter while it has already got wheels and can easily move. There was a good reason why DRDO has done that and to understand it, we have to go a little back in the history. So in the year 2020, the Indian Army has released an RFI for the purchase of three dozen tank transporters. Now these vehicles were to be used for transporter of trailer 70 ton tank transporter loaded with medium or heavy weight tanks weighing up to 70 tons on metal roads or tracks. Indian Army was looking for an 8x8 vehicle which can be operated in varied terrains of India including desert, mountain and plains and can tolerate temperature ranging from 0 to 45 degrees centigrade. The high mobility load carrier with a payload capacity of not less than 12 tons is expected to have the cross combined weight of 115 to 125 tons. And this gross combined weight includes the in-service trailer having unladen weight of not more than 20 tons, MBT Arjun Mark 1 having weight of 62.5 tons or Arjun Mark 1A having weight of 68 tons and the weight of prime mover with counter weights as recommended by the OEM. This platform can also be modified for uses such as including troop carriage, containerization for specialist roles. It is also expected to have facility for ease and quick conversion to flatbed configuration by removal of sidewalls, superstructures and tailboard. The vehicle should have locking arrangement for container transportation. So this was the Army's requirement. During the 23rd Jan dress rehearsal, DRDO has not only showcased the wheeled armor fighting vehicle integrated with anti-tank guided missile, but has also showcased the 70-ton tank transporter. And this is also the first time when a tank transporter was showcased by DRDO. The tank transporter is of semi-trailer configuration, which is pulled by a Volvo hauler. It has a modular hydraulic suspension for better mobility and manual steering by a joystick to negotiate the sharp turns. The semi-trailer is also capable of self-steering. A full trailer is also under development. By showcasing the WHAFP on 70-ton tank trailer, DRDO has showcased both the capabilities now and the orders for the same is expected when the deliveries of Arjun Mark 1A commences. Now, DRDO's W was very interesting uh, this Republic Day and it was categorized into four parts and its theme is securing nation with effective surveillance, communication and neutralizing threats. The first part is displaying underwater surveillance platform which includes sonars like Hamsa series of sonars for ships and low frequency dunking sonar for helicopter launch surveillance. Second part of this W was having land surveillance, communication and neutralizing platforms showcasing D4 counter drone system which can perform real-time search, detection, tracking and neutralizing of the targets. Two units of quick reaction surface to a missile QR SAM weapon system, battery, multifunction radar, and missile launcher vehicle was also being displayed. Besides, two versions of software defined radio, man pack, and handheld are part of this W. DRDO has developed the software defined radio for secured communication. The third part of this W was showcasing the air surveillance and communication platforms such as Airborne Early Warning System and Tapas BH Medium Altitude Long Endurance UAV. AWC is a true force multiplier with surveillance, communication, and electronics warfare capabilities, and three Nitra Mark I has already been inducted into Indian Air Force. The rear, which is the fourth part, is representing DRDO's research activities, wherein a semiconductor R&D facility has been demonstrated. In this part, DRDO has also depicted futuristic technology in the field of semiconductors, detectors, and next-generation sensors. The indigenously developed wheeled armor platform carried on a 70-ton trailer 
was also displayed by DRDO in the form of actual equipment. Many more DRDO developed systems such as Arjun Mini Battle Tank, Nag Missile System, Pramhos Missile, Short Span Bridge, and Akas NG were also showcased. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share, and subscribe. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind. We'll soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.